let's balance the redox reaction here for MnO4 minus plus C2H5OH. We're going to do this in acidic medium, and we're going to use the ion electron method, also called the half reaction method. The first thing we do is we write the oxidation numbers for each element. I've already done those for most of these, but the CH3COOH, acetic acid, it's probably better to look at it like this here. It's the same formula, it's a little more condensed, so this is going to be the average oxidation state for C2H4OH, and that's going to make it a little easier to work with here. You can change it back to CH3COOH when you're done. So next we write the half reactions for the species of interest, and these are the ones that are changing their oxidation states. Let's do that. So for the carbon, we went from negative two on each of the carbons to this zero. So this number was increased. It's increased from negative two to zero. That means this is oxidized. This here, this is gonna be reduced, and you can look at it and see we have less oxygen. So that makes sense that this is reduced. So now we can balance our half reactions. First, we balance the atoms of interest. Those are the ones that change. We have two carbons here, two carbons here. That's good. Manganese, manganese. That's already done. Now we can add water on either side to balance these oxygen atoms. So up here I have one oxygen, here I have two. So I'm going to add just one water molecule here to this side. That balances the oxygens. Down here I have four, so let's add four water molecules. We've balanced the oxygen atoms. Now the hydrogen atoms. We add H plus to balance the hydrogen atoms. Here I have one, two, plus five, seven, eight. Here I only have four, so I'm going to add four hydrogen atoms in the products here. Down here, let's add eight hydrogen ions here. That's done. Now we balance the charge, the electrons. So we're going to add electrons to either side, so we have the same charge on both sides. Here I have a four plus, so I'm going to add four electrons. So now the charge on both sides, that's balanced. Down here, it's a little bit more tricky. I have eight plus and then this one minus. So I have seven plus here and two plus here. If I put five electrons here, five plus eight plus plus one, that'll give us the two plus. So we'll have two plus on both sides. So we've balanced the charge. So now if you think of it this way, these right here, these are all the reactants and these over here, these are the products. So you have four electrons here in the products and five in the reactants. That's not balanced, so we need to balance that. Here's how we do it. We'll take all of these substances here and we're gonna multiply it by five. Down here, we'll multiply all of these by four because five times four, that's 20 electrons. Four times five, that's 20 electrons. So we've balanced the electrons, but we do have to multiply everything in the brackets by the number out here. Let me do that, then we'll simplify those half reactions and we'll be done with the redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus C2H5OH. So this is what we get when we balance the electrons out by multiplying each of these half reactions here. Understand that what we've done is we've taken this part here, these are the reactants, five times all of this, four times all of this, and that gives us the reactants here. So these are our reactants. Then we did the products the same way, five times all of this, four times all of this, and we end up with this equation down here, which we can now simplify. Right away I see these 20 electrons, let's get rid of those. Five water molecules here and 16 here, so we can get rid of these and just reduce this down to 11. I've got 32 H+, plus, these hydrogen ions, only 20 here. Let's get rid of these and make this 12. At this point, everything is unique. So let me clean it up. We'll have our redox reaction for this MnO4 minus and C2H5OH. So when you do a redox reaction like this, at the end, you can make sure you're correct. So let's just look at the number of atoms. I have two carbons here, but I have two times five. I have 10 here. So I know that this is not correct. The reason it's not correct here is because I didn't multiply five times this here. I forgot to put the five there. So I can go back and check and see, yeah, this should be five of these C2H5OH molecules. So that was an error that I made that you can check when you go back through. If you count up all the atoms, they're going to be correct here. And then if you look at the charge, you have 12 plus here, plus four minus. You have an eight plus here, 
4 times 2 plus is 8 plus. So in the products you have 8 plus. So you can see the charge is correct as well. And that's really kind of important. You can always check your work with these redox reactions and know whether you have the correct answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for MnO4 plus C2H5OH. Thanks for watching.